guys, I'm the devil, and welcome back to Sky Factory 2.5, we are in episode 4, so if I can, please guys, ask you to leave the video a like, and click subscribe if you are enjoying the series, please do that for me, and share the video out, I really would appreciate it, but anyway, we're back on Sky Factory, in the last episode, we went ahead and we built the mob grinder, which is right over there, you guys can see that. That was amazing. We've had some loot bags, we've opened up some loot bags, we've been FKing, we've got some mob drops, there are a couple of loot bags over there which we will open up at some point in this episode, but oh, let's put an apple. I made some more apple juice and I went ahead and I did what I said I was going to do. I went ahead and I smelted down all of our ingots into ingots, all of our ores into ingots. These are the leftover ores that we've got. We've got some stones, I'm keeping my stones in there. Let's put the apple in there. I like the way the rain kind of like bounces off there, but what I am going to do, guys, is I'm going to quickly go into sound, and I'm going to turn the weather down considerably. So, in this episode, guys, I want to get the cobblestone and lava generation up and running. Okay, excuse me, I got a little bitch. So we've got the um, the piece of cobble there. We're going to put water there and cobblestone and sorry and lava there. That's what I want. And I think we might just pour um, tanks here, actually. Um, and have the lava filter into these tanks right here. And then build power generation over that side, exporting from these tanks. I don't know. Um, but this episode is going to be shorter than normal, I think. Um, the reason being is normally I record these in the morning when I get up. Before my day begins. But tomorrow I've actually got a lot of other things that I need to be doing that's come up. So I don't think that I'm going to be able to get an episode recorded and out in time for my regular upload time at 5 o'clock in the evening UK time. So I decided that I was going to record tonight and it's like midnight and I've got a really early morning now so it's going to be a bit of a bit of a trek. Yeah, I got to out there. So, I love the way the planets are in the distance. I do love this world. So, we're going to get on this cobblestone generator. Now, the first thing that we need for it, oh, we got some glass smell, I forgot about that, is a transfer node. And for that, we need a ender pearl, some redstone, some of this basic stuff, and some pipes. So let's just get the other stuff that we need first. So we need two stone. We need, what else did we need? We needed an ender pearl. Is there an ender pearl in here? Nope. Did I not bring any man to pause over here? I evidently did not. We need two redstone. We need a chest. And oh yeah, there's my ender pearl. And an ender pearl. So I want to go ahead and just stick that in here. So we've got that, 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 that. Is it I feel like this is wrong. No, it's actually right. And the next thing we need is the pipe, which I don't know. I I was reading the change log. If you go into here, there's this little eye thing. What's new? And this kind of like gives you a change log. If you actually want to read this, I broke it. I will slowly scroll down it, and you guys can pause the video if you want to watch it. Read it. I've already read it, and I'm not going to bore you with reading it. And it said something about them changing the recipe for the pipes. So I just want to quickly go to the pipe that I want. So yeah, we could do this with iron or aluminium or aluminium nuggets, iron nuggets, but that only gives us two, whereas that gives us eight. But is that worth it? Because we use one, I we use less than one, so we use three, six, nine. So if we got Three ingots would make us six iron pipes. So yeah, that way it's actually a lot more beneficial to us. So how much lapis? And we have the lapis, which is fantastic. So let's grab that and let's get some um, aluminium ingots. Should we take six, I think? So, it's that that and that, and that and that. 
No? Not that and that. Does that not work with aluminium nuggets? Is it only... Ooh, no. Did I... Did I... Wait, no, I'm on rationing pipes. Why am I on rationing pipes? Um, no, 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 no. We'll just type in pipes. Screw it. It's being a Mitch. Okay, so... Oh, nope. So this is iron nuggets, iron ore berry, aluminium nuggets. It's got to be Tinker's Construct aluminium nuggets. So I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Because... You used to be able to do this. You could put them in there and... Nope. So, sadly, that's not going to work. But that's okay. We'll just make this version of them. I actually want to make some more. I mean, all's fair in love and war. That'll probably be something that is, like, done in an update or a patch or something. Allowing it to use those ingots as well. Um, what else do we need? Redstone. So, let's... Um, I don't see us using aluminium for anything else right now, so let's just go ahead and do this. I'm doing that the wrong way round, aren't I? Boom. We got plenty of pipes. So, another thing that I want to do is take a crucible. Oh, and we need one more thing very quickly here. We need a chest. We need that. Put the chest there. And a slab. And we need a better bowel. So, I believe that is everything that we will need, apart from a bucket. We are going to need a bucket. Where did I put my bucket? There's my bucket. Grab a piece of water. And plop that water in there. And take that. Ooh, not enough lava. That's a bit of a problem that I didn't foresee. Um, could have swore that I smelled the lava down. Um, I know I've got some cobblestone somewhere. Oh, wait, no, I have the, the stones are in here. That's why I went in this chest. So, what else do we need? So, we got a cobblestone. I need torches. That's what I need. I got torches. That's cool. So, let's just pop you in there. Get that smelt down. I want to go ahead and take the, um, the torches. Where are my torches? There's my torches. And we're just going to plop these down here. Now, these torches aren't permanent, but they will certainly make it a lot more easier for us. And I know something that I did forget. I did forget the World Introduction Tool Upgrade, um, which is a bit of a nuisance on my behalf. Um, so, let's go and get that. It's because I'm on a short schedule. Okay, so we've got, we need iron. So, let's put the, the aluminium back, grab the iron, grab the lapis. And grab those sticks. There we go. There's sticks. Put that there like that. Iron across. It's the iron pickaxe. And I hope this recipe hasn't changed. I'm going to assume that it hasn't. Nope, it hasn't. So that is that. And yeah. I think that we've got everything that we need apart from the actual um, node. There we go. There's four. So. Let's pop this... Um, Okay, up here, and I want to fall off. I want to pop this node on the back there, and I want a pipe coming up to no pipe coming up there, and then I want the barrel on there. So that's cool. That's like our little cobblestone generator there. If you don't know how to make a cobblestone generator, it's very easy. You just put. We actually need the lava first. How much lava is there in there? There's not that much. Okay, that's okay. There are a couple of other things that we need to do first. We can go ahead and put the crucibles here. These is This is going to be our lava generation for now. And I'm going to knock these torches out. We'll put lava under there or pyrethemium or something else under there as and when we need it. But for right now, we don't. For right now, it's golden like that. That's what I want and that's what we're going to have. So... I actually need to get this um, into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a transfer node on top of the pipe. And I 
I'm going to bring this over like so. And this will put cobblestone into the crucibles. The crucibles then turn the cobblestone into lava. And we do need a place to extract this lava to. So, do we have a tank? Now, I always went and I always used to start with um, making these tanks, but I think I'm going to switch it up and make one of these tanks. I mean, all it is is a copper ingot surrounded by glass. And to be fair, we do have a copper ingot. And I believe I've got the glass on me. So I'm hoping it's regular glass. If not, let's see what we can do. Yes. So what about if this only holds eight millibuckets? So what happens if I wanted to upgrade that? We would need Invar. Hmm. How's Invar made again? I always forget how Invar's made. It's the one thing we got. So one nickel and two iron produce three Invar. So one nickel and two iron. So we've got the two iron, so we need four iron and we need two nickel. This should be very quickly done. I think they've actually speeded up the speed of the smell tree in Sky Factory because it just seems to go so much quicker than it used to. So I'm really kind of happy and excited and over the joy with that. So what do we need to upgrade this tank further? So we're going to go to the hardened tank. To do this, we need fused quartz, hardened glass, and hardened aluminum glass. So that's obsidian powder. We ain't anywhere um, near this yet. Fused, fused, fused quartz is that. Is there anything else that can do it? Just varying um, degrees of quartz in an alloy smelter. We ain't that far yet, and the resonant water tank is out. But to be honest, this holds um, 32 millibuckets, so we'll be good. We'll be good. The next thing that I just wanted to look at is the fluid. Where are they? Where are they? See, we could use. Oh, trash can. Fluids. We've got some fluid pipes here. Um, we've got the fluid ducts, but I like the. Um, oh, there they are. The. Um, Tinker's Fluidox, and how do I make quite clear glass? We can chisel it, which is good. All I need now is some conduit binder, which I believe is um, some... We're going to need some more... Um, we got some cobble, so what's conduit binder? Where are you? Um, Ender Fluidox? Yeah, we ain't going to be able to get that one just yet. So give me the... Um... Oh, is that the pressurized? Yes. So we need... Um... Conduit binder, which is made for this, which is gravel, sand, and clay. So, we have a piece of clay. Let's just pop that in there. We need sand and gravel. We need so it's six gravel and two sand. So, please tell me I have a hammer. Yes, I do. So, let's quickly hammer this down. And pow. And hopefully this makes as much as we need. Is that right? Yes, it is. That makes eight. And I think that each one of these eight produces four. So hopefully we will have enough. I don't want to waste any more charcoal than I already have. So let's get... Where's my chisel? Where's my chisel? There's my chisel. I've got this feeling like this recording is going to mess up somehow. I'm on the right profile for recording. I have audio, my cam's on, my game's on. I don't know, I just got a feeling. Okay, so we need just three pieces of this. But I think I'm gonna make two lots actually. So let's make that quite clear glass. It's one thing I hate about that. So let's put, oh wait, no, because there. Put that there. And a conduit binder. That makes eight, and that makes eight. So, this should be enough to auto-extract from here. Now, it does say that these obey gravity, which is kind of cool. So, let's get rid of you. We'll stick our portable tank here. 
And do I want this to go in the top? I think I do. Okay, so do I have to set these ones? Um, this I want to insert, and this I want to extract without a signal. So let's just quickly set all of these to do that. I've never used these fluid ones before. I usually go straight for the um, more expensive ones. By the time I'm doing this, I've usually had my mob grinder running for some time and usually have got a bit of vibrant alloy from there. But I don't know if that's a thing in this, so let's quickly grab you. Let's pop you down there. And that's not going to work, is it? Because I forgot to put in my... Um... Oh god, I thought I was going up the end there. My World Interaction Tool Upgrade. Which is going to do some mining of the cobble for us. And there we go. We have lava. We have lava. Once that fills up some more, I will replace these torches with lava. And we will have more lava generation. So I'm quite happy with that. We got the cobblestone there. I don't think I have another bucket in here. I don't really want to waste it. How much um, we would need... What's that? We need two more cobblestone to fill this up. And I suppose we could run, actually, a ender fluid duct from... That would be insert there and extract there. And what we'll do is we'll run... Can I not connect that? No, I don't actually want to connect that. I want to connect that to there. Maybe that's in the way. I don't know. But we'll connect that up to there. And yeah. The reason I've done a half slab here is it makes it easier to put lava in without lava coming out. Or to put blazing pyrothemium in. But I don't know. I don't think we'll use blazing pyrothemium. Wow, that, that actually went up pretty damn quick. So yeah, we was actually going to upgrade it. I forgot about that. We got the Molten Inver and everything. So maybe we'll make another tank. Then that way we can have this lava tank. And we'll make the other one. So we can have a couple. <coughs> Possibly. I don't know. I don't think I can upgrade that tank with fluid in it. But we are going to certainly find out. Let's find out if we can upgrade a tank that's got fluid in it. Put that there. That's not invar. Boom, boom, boom. And oops, nope. Hey! Well, you can. If you want, you can upgrade a tank that has invar in it. Boom. I'm really happy with that. I really like the fact that you can see the, 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 um, the lava coming out of it. I think that's really cool. You don't get that with the upgraded versions. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I really do dig that. And this is obviously transferring all of the lava. Or not. Why is that not transferring the lava out? Oh yeah, there we go. And that's putting the lava in there. I'm happy with that. I'm actually tempted to um, bring that down like so. So it keeps this one filled up and keeps our lava there rather than bringing that through. So we've got our own personal lava one for that. And I think since we do have a spare crucible on hand. Hmm. If we put that there and we put a pipe over it like so. And then we do... Hmm. Do you know what? I think that would work. Let's try something. we got a little bit of time before this episode ends, guys. I want to try something. So I want a barrel. Another barrel. Uh, yes, I have another chest. So there's a barrel. We've got the fluid conduit. Now, I lost my um, stone thing. So, I know I have some stone somewhere. There's a stone thing. We've got a bucket there. So let me just quickly make a stone barrel. See if you can guess what I'm doing, guys. We've got a stone barrel, we've got um, these, where's uh, my, where's my saw, I need my saw, my saw in here, my saw on me, where's my saw, 
Did I miss it in here? Yes, I did. Yeah, that's typical me. Miss me on head if it weren't screwed on. Okay, so if we put this barrel there and oh no see I am seeing a little bit of an issue here let's knock that out put this fluid conduit here and I want to do that so oh no I want to insert and from here, I want to extract that signal. Is that going to put lava in there for me? No, it's not, devil, because this doesn't have any way of making cobble. There we go. So that's going to fill up with lava. Now, if I pop you there you and you there and put a bucket of water on top, that should make that lava into obsidian. Give me that. Gimme! Is that bar not full? That bar must be the tiniest bit of full. Okay, so if we do that, and I just go ahead and... Um, actually, let me take that off first, because if I don't... There we go. I apologize that this looks very messy, guys. Um, but I'm hoping that this works from the side. I'm not sure if it does or not. So let's find out. We need to we need this to be filled with a bucket of lava first. But if all goes accordingly to plan, which I considerably hope that it does, that should generate some obsidian. Should be in the operative word. I really hope we don't have to go underneath for it. Um, let me get a piece of pipe, bring a piece of pipe here, and pop that there. And that should hopefully generate a little bit more. How come you are not generating? Are we missing a torch? We are missing a torch. Can I? No, I can't. Why are we missing a torch from under here? This was generating cobble earlier. There we go. Problem solved. Crisis almost averted. Okay. There we go. That's filling up nicely. We have a nice little um, obsidian generator, albeit it's not very fast. But it's still going to generate as obsidian for now. We can build a bigger and a better one for now. But I've got a feeling we might need a little bit of obsidian coming through the ages. So... That'll provide that. Shall we go see what loot bags we've got? So the thing is, we've only got two normal chests here. Two double chests anyway. So... There's mini me's. I've not seen that before. That's cool. Yeah, little Mario running around. Oh, I don't want to kill them, but if I don't, they'll kill me. We got. Eh. Let's hit them with a the pickaxe. There we go. So I actually don't want that. Okay, so let's grab those, and let's grab those. Boom. So let's go and put our stuff away. I really want this to make me a piece of obsidian before the end, but I don't know. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. Okay, so let's just fill this up so we don't need you, you, um, you, or you, or you, or you, or you, or you. Or you. Oh, wait. That one's off. Okay, don't need you, 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 you. Or any of them. This is the best mod ever. The one that allows me to just zip things from one place to another. Like, I got this old mask kicked down. In. 
Just just hold mouse, click down. Love that mod. Love it, love it, love it. So, these loot bags are giving out different things to what they did before. Oh, we got an iron wand out of that one. Oh, shiny ingot and some, some snow. Random. Oh, a division sigil. Saddle and a lily pad. So you never got that before. We got four more lily pads and some mana steel. We got, ooh, emerald, I'll take that. Some pulverized coal, some nether quartz, and a mega rubber sapling. I don't want that mega rubber sapling. Redstone and sulfur. And a bunch of crappy stuff. Some more crappy stuff. Some paper. Fired clay bucket, that's new in there. It's not new within the mod pack, but it's new within the loot bags. Jungle sapling, what was that? Oh, they're just regular seeds. So it's really cool opening all these because I know what is in all of the um, old loot bags. You know, but I don't know what's in these new loot bags. Okay, so... Okay, I know I have some of these in some of these, so... I don't really want to make another chest, but I'm going to anyway. So, there's that chest. We do need some better inventory sorted out. Because this just ain't going to cut it for all that long. Actually, the coal powder belongs elsewhere. There's that and that. So, that belongs up there. So, guys, I think that that's going to call it for an episode. We have quite the little nest of lava now. And I'm a bit upset that this hasn't filled yet. How, how much have we got in it? 732. Um, I'm surprised that these didn't connect, to be honest. Um... This episode's actually turned out to be as long as the regular ones, and I didn't plan that, but hey. 77%. Uh, we can make this look prettier by bringing the cable down here, actually. Yeah, and having that go into there rather than a second one. But then again, I'd put the lava from there in there, and I don't know actually want its own source. But we'll make a lava generator obsidian thingy majig on its own accord. Come on. That's an 80, that's an 800 MB. Let's go and um, just, let's clip the apples. Let's clip the apples. I am finding anything to waste some time here. Just so that obsidian's done. I want to know if that's done. And normally I'd make a cut, but it's right near the end of the episode. And it's literally for the tiniest thing ever. So if you guys actually just want to see that, you know just to skip forward to about 20, 25 seconds before the end. Maybe 30. So... You guys know that it ain't going to be that long. We're in the 800s. We're in the 800s. We're in the 800s now. Oh, look. Another tree. Oh. Bye-bye, Apple. Actually, that's something that we can do together. I actually haven't seen that much dirt. We got 14 pieces. Let's see what we get. Farm seeding, just regular dirt. See if they've changed anything. So we've got the stones, that's fine. Sugarcane seeds, we could do with sugarcane. Some normal seeds, we already had some of those. And I don't know what else this is going to give us because we can't see, but we just got something red. I think they were potato seeds. Yeah, we got a rubber tree sapling. I'm actually happy with that. Grass seeds, potato seeds, yes, got some grass seeds, I'm happy with that. So let's see what else we get. We got some of the things that I actually wanted. What's that? Melon seeds. So some of the things are a bit strange to me in this texture pack. I used sort of like the brother texture pack or the sister texture pack to this one. Um, I think it's called Fanvare. I think that's the name of the texture pack I, I used to use. Or at least I used a Sky Factory 2.4. But there we go, we got those. But I'll show you guys the texture pack, actually, just in case you want it. It's Inviticus, which, if you look, I mean, the pictures, the images, they're so similar. 
And not only are they so similar, the texture pack is also very, very similar. Like this texture is almost identical, if not identical. Same with the trees and, and the dirt. But some of the other textures are a little bit different. So there are some changes made within it. Okay, so there is obsidian in there. But that one isn't pulling it out. Look, it isn't pulling it out. Which is a bit of a shame. I think that actually has to be underneath it. So, we don't have an obsidian generator, sadly. But I think if we just right-click, we'll get the obsidian anyway. So, even though we don't have it, we have it sort of semi-auto and we can store the obsidian there. It's something rather than nothing. But we'll get on that thingy in the next episode, guys. What I want to do is I want to expand it over this way a little bit. I'm thinking of having a couple of power generators there. I'm not sure which way to go. I'm going to have a little bash on creative and see which generators I like. Because I normally just go for the lava generators. No, generators isn't an A. I normally go for like these generators. These are the generators that I usually use for power in the early game. I then follow that up with the big reactor. But one of the things I have started using recently is these cells here. I really kind of dig them because they look very pretty and look very nice. And they produce a very, not a huge amount of power. I think it's like 12 RF per tick. Oh no, 40 RF per tick. But um, it goes up and down throughout the day and um, barely anything during the night. But... You put them together, they make like a field, and you only need to be connected to one of them to actually gain the power from all of them. So you could have like a hundred connected together, like a solar, huge solar panel, and only one needs to be connected to a um, energy conduit or a capacitor bank to actually store all of the energy from all 100. And they're a very cheap renewable source of energy, but they are extremely expensive. They do contain, they do need vibrant alloy, which is um, energetic alloy and an ender pearl together in an induction smelter. Um, and of course, energetic alloy isn't cheap either. It's these. So, you know, normally I go with the lava generators in the earlier game, and then when I've got enough, I go for these advanced cells. I don't bother with these because I think it's just a waste of the energetic alloy. And again, a lot of the stuff that you need, it's just a waste of materials because they only produce 10 RF per tick. So you would need four of them, and the effort that you would put into getting just four of them would be easily spent getting one of those, in my opinion. Pulsating iron isn't too bad. It's just iron and ender pearl. And these vibrant crystals, the emeralds are the expensive bit. Again, vibrant alloy. But again, you only need two emeralds. Again, it's not very expensive just for the one, as in comparison to making four of those, in my opinion. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you've enjoyed it, please leave the video a like and click the subscribe button. If you want to see more, I'm the devil. You can check out all my various forms of social media down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.